Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. Today we're going to talk about another audio book that I found called Population Zero. It's written by Ryan Scow. And uh, I don't know who that guy is, and but I'm definitely going to look up more of his books after listening to this book. So um, it's read by Kevin Pierce, who's another great reader of audio books. And he does a really good job on these apocalypse type books. So it's almost like he was made for that. But anyway, it's a three book series and it's complete. So you don't have to worry about being left hanging. And it was written, the first one in 2021. So, you know, naturally they talk about the C-19 and, and other stuff. So it's up to date too. And that's interesting too, because it made it real relevant and real believable uh, with, with, with his storyline. So... Basically, um, there was a young girl that moved with her family from Russia to the United States, and her dad was killed. So she was real bitter. Naturally, she blamed the United States because all her dad would talked about was when we get to the United States, it's going to be great, and you know. And so naturally, she blamed the United States. So she's kind of the uh, computer programmer that starts to create this worm for this cyber attack. So I'll leave it at that. I won't tell you too much there. And that, again, it's in the description. And the other two um, people are Slater and Scout. Slater is a podcaster, and naturally he's into conspiracy theories. So, you know, he everything about the government and, and a lot of different uh, topics. So, you know, you get that uh, when you're reading it. And his brother, who's a twin brother, Scout, so he's constantly getting beat up because everyone thinks he's his brother. And so, you know, it's, a, it's really, like I said, it's real well written. It's not boring at all. And it keeps you going from the right from the beginning. It just keeps going through each book series. It holds your attention well. And it, it's really good for us to, uh, to listen to this. And I know some channels out there don't like these books. They say it's not realistic. It, actually, you know, what is? You know, there's always a what if. We plan for the what if. So this stuff helps us to get ideas of possibly how people could act. And I don't know, when I listen to it, in my mind, I think they're really spot on with probably how people would act. So that's why it's also a good uh, training book, we'll call it, you know, just in case something did happen. So again, I don't want to tell you much more than that. We'll leave it at that. But I promise you it's worth the, the pick and the effort to uh, take the time to listen to it and or read it. So let me know what you think of the books down in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next video.